Hey, today I want to show you a really cool trick to draw utility lines in Civil 3D. This is super helpful when you're trying to figure out if you have enough cover after you've lowered your road. This is a really cool trick to build these profiles really quickly. Here is a profile I have drawn in here. See how I'm moving along the profile and see where the alignment is. And I have on here the pipe network drawn in. I have the existing surface in green. I have the proposed surface, which you can see there is no proposed surface starting about here. And then the proposed surface picks up right about here. And at this point, it's where my road is getting lowered. My proposed is lower than my existing. And so you can see I'm reducing my cover. So I only have about two feet of cover here, uh, which is typically lower than you'd want to have. So I might need to relocate some of my, my water line here. Uh, you can see I can pinpoint exactly where that lowest point is right about here. So how did I make this? Let's jump right in. I'm going to just delete what I have in here to start with. I'm going to go in and select and delete. So I just deleted my alignment. I'm also going to delete the pipe network that I made. And to delete it, I'm just going to come in here, right click. I can just click select. I'm going to select it just to make sure it's the right one. And then I'm going to delete. 115 pipes, 116 structures. Now you can see I have right here a water line. And this is what I'm going to use to make the pipe network, that profile, and the alignment. And so this is just a continuous polyline. It's important that you have it be continuous. And I just went into the survey drawing, found that water line, copied base point zero, zero, joined those lines together to make this line. First thing you want to do is make sure you have an existing and a finished grade surface in your drawing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply elevations to this polyline by typing feature elevations from surface. This is actually a command that's supposed to be for feature lines, but it does work on polylines as well. I'm going to make sure I grab this for my existing grade surface because this is an existing waterline. And you can see where all those points are coming in. I'm going to hit OK for spacebar. And now this profile it created a ton more points and more points than I need. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this line by hitting weed. And there's a lot of different ways you can clean it up. I typically like to just set it every 25 feet. And there we go. Now I've cleaned up this line. I don't want too many pipes in here. So I want to lower this line because it's at the existing grade surface. I'm going to lower this by what the cover is. I know this is at 38 inches below the surface, so I'm going to lower this 38 inches by move. Instead of base point, I'm going to hit D for displacement, and I'm going to type in 0, 0, negative 3.15. Okay, so now this line is negative 3.15 feet below that surface. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click here, create pipe network from object, and then you can tell it has more points than desirable, but it's okay. Asking for the flow direction, hit enter for okay. And now I'm gonna create this pipe network. I'm gonna call this existing water example. Parts list, I already have parts list set up for this. You don't really need this. This just makes it look prettier. And I'm gonna set this as a six inch ductile iron, which I know it is. I'm gonna set the surface at EG. I'm gonna type in use vertex elevation. I'm gonna set it to outside top because the 38 inches was from the top of the pipe. So I'm gonna set that there. Hit OK. And this is going to create a pipe network. OK, now you can see I still have that darker blue line, which is the, the 3D polyline. And here now is a pipe network part on my existing water example. So if I right click, select my tools, so you have 207 parts, whether that's pipe or structures. The next thing is a newer tool that I've really been enjoying, which is if you click on any part in here, and I'm going to start with the first one. Now under your ribbon, there's an alignment from network button. This has saved me so much time. I'm gonna go to the end of the network. You don't have to do this for the whole network, but you can do it for any part. And it's gonna select every single part in that network that is connected. So it's important that your original polyline was a continuous line. If every part is not connected properly, it's not gonna work. And I'm gonna hit make sure to create profile and profile view is selected. Hit okay. And now I'm gonna add those two surfaces that I have in here. I'm gonna set the style to make sure they look. I'm going to hit draw in profile view and you can play with these if you want, but I usually just start with the defaults and I'm going to draw this right here. Now this, now I have some extra labels on here. I'm going to go in and delete these. I don't need all of these labels. There's going to be way too many. And there we go. Let me change my viewport configuration again. You can see I have my station tracker turned on to get to that. You click on the profile and you go to station tracker, all viewports. But as I, as I move along my profile, you can see where that where exactly I'm located. So this is going to be a super helpful way to see, okay, my road is lowering right over top of the water line. I'm not using the center line from the road. 
I'm using an alignment directly over my waterline. So in the event that I am going through a ditch or going through a spot where I'm really lowering the road off the center line, I hope this will help you for drawing existing utilities. Thanks so much. Have a great day.